bacon. Don't really like it. Don't know why people make it. What's up, guys? We're making bacon today. I'm gonna show you a few different ways to prepare bacon. We're gonna do it on the stove top, in the oven, and also in the microwave for all you lazy people. <laughs> Let's make this bacon. I have my baking sheet here lined with a foil just for easy cleanup. Bacon will lose a lot of fat in the oven. And then we have a cooling rack in our baking sheet because that will allow the bacon to crisp on both sides as opposed to just one. Plus, if you're baking on a baking sheet, and all the fat is rendering out, the bacon's just gonna be sitting in its own fat. So it's nice to have something to like let the fat drip down. Depending on how you like your bacon, you might wanna bake this for just like 15 minutes if you like it a little bit chewier. I like my bacon really crunchy, so I'll probably do it somewhere around like 25 minutes, but we'll check it at 20 just to make sure it's doing okay. This oven is preheated to 400. We'll just put it in the middle rack and let it do its thing. This is a great hands-off method, especially if you wanted to do like 20 pieces of bacon at a time. This is definitely the best way to do it. We have two identical pans here. One is being preheated and one is cold. So we're gonna test and see which method gives us crispier, more delicious bacon. So the idea is if we start our bacon in a cold pan, we'll give our bacon ample time to render that fat out and it'll be crisp and cooked perfectly all the way through. Let's start it in the hot pan. The nice thing about starting in a hot pan is that you get that immediate gratification of the sizzle. Such a good sound. Now that we've got that one going, I'm gonna put our other bacon in the cold pan. And now, I can turn on the heat. It smells like bacon. It's interesting, these have shrunk so much more already too. Ready to flip these guys? These guys definitely shrunk really fast when I put them in the pan, which means that some of these edges got a little extra crispy because they were really the only ones touching the pan. I think these guys are pretty much done, honestly. I'm gonna transfer them to a plate lined with paper towels. They look okay. Burnt part, perfectly cooked part, and there's a little bit of like fatty uncooked part. So we're not getting a very even cook on these. Meanwhile, we just flipped these and they're looking pretty good. This little guy was a little too thin and it got a little bit too dark, but these two are looking really nice. The slice that didn't bunch the most is still quite a bit smaller than the ones we started in the cold pan. These guys are good to go. So a little pro tip, if you wanna save your bacon fat, which you really should because it's great for cooking, you can make eggs in it, you can roast veggies with it, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. You wanna strain it just to get out any of the burnt bits of the bacon, which can taste a little bit bitter. So it's been 20 minutes. It looks so evenly cooked. It's like kinda crazy, actually. They didn't scrunch. They stayed flat and they look really good. So I'm gonna put these on a paper towel lined plate as well. I mean, the fat looks like it's been like perfectly rendered out. You can barely see like what part of the bacon was fat and what part was meat. This is something I've never tried before. I learned this on thekitchen.com. They have a method for microwaving bacon and I really wanna give it a shot. I've, I have my doubts, but I'm really curious. I've lined a baking dish with a few layers of paper towel. So I'm just gonna lay it down, not overlapping. The paper towel is supposed to not only absorb the fat, but also keep our microwave clean. And they said a minute per slice, and we have a slice and a half, so I'll do minute 30 on high heat. Safety is important. All right. Ooh, it's so crinkly. It shrunk a lot, but it looks done. Interesting. I don't know how they got so small, but they really shrunk. It's time for a taste test. Let's start with the one that I'm most skeptical about, the microwave bacon. It looks, to be honest, like it's not gonna be good. It's, does it have snap? <gasps> Kinda. Actually, that was a lot better than I was expecting. It's crunchy. I feel like the fat did render out pretty nicely. Dry, a little bit chewy. It's not terrible. 
If you don't have any pans or an oven, great way to cook bacon. Next, why don't we try our oven cooked bacon. Sadly, it is not crisped up at all. It's very flabby. It looks really cooked, and I think it is really cooked. It just didn't really crisp the way it does in a pan. Snap? No. It's deceptive because the fat turns brown. Could probably have gone even a little bit longer. Good for baking a lot at once. You're not gonna get the crispness like you would if you were cooking it in a pan, but good on a BLT. Perfectly flat. Ooh, haven't had this much bacon in a while. Our final two contenders, hot pan, cold pan. Let's go for hot pan first. That was a pretty good crunch. Very crunchy. Mm. Mm. You know what, I get it, bacon is good. Oh, it's just good. Tastes like the bacon of my youth. I would say. And then this last one, cold pan. Mmm, very crunchy. Less oily than the hot pan ones. The fat has definitely rendered out a lot more evenly. So it's delicious. I think they're both actually great. I don't think you can really go wrong with cooking bacon in a pan, but I actually think I like the cold pan method better. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite method for cooking bacon is. Any cool tips on how to make the best bacon ever? I would love to try them out.